Hey there guys, I'm just going to go through some of my favourites at the moment. I don't buy that much makeup, so it's just my current favourites. It's quite a lot to get through. But we'll go over a little bit of everything, to be honest. Just makeup surrounding. First, I'll probably start off with my favourite. Ooh, what's it doing? Okay. Sorry about shit webcam again. This is the CoverGirl Outlast, a fabulous 3-in-1, and my colour is 805 Ivory. Since I have quite baddish skin, I get quite red in the face and I have quite a few pimples. This is probably my best foundation at the moment and it's really, really cheap. It's like $25 and it's quite a good colour. It doesn't color, cover everything, but that's what concealer is for and it's a perfect colour for me. And it's got pump. I like pumps. They're great. And it just covers everything really easily and it's really, really smooth and it stays on for ages. It does claim to be a primer, concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one and shine free, so it's quite a matte one, but that's why I like anyway. And it's really, really good, it's really basic, everyone talks about it on here, and it's just one of my favourite, favourite things at the moment. Next thing is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo, and it is in Tough as Taupe. It's really, really pretty, I seem to wear a lot of kind of browns on my eyes, kind of natural, and then do a bright kind of look. They're really, really soft and they don't seem to dry out too much. And they're just really, really nice quality. It makes it stays on for ages and ages and ages. And I always use one of the Maybelline color tattoos as a base for everything. And this one's just the perfect kind of brown. Oh, see that there? It's really, really nice. I love it. And then everything drugstore since I'm a student. It is the Scandalize Waterproof Coal Eyeliner in 012 Bronze. They don't stay in the waterline for ages, but they kind of go down to the bottom, leave kind of a nice line, and you can smudge it out as well. So I wouldn't really claim they're waterproof because they don't stay in my eyeliner. I'm um, staying my waterline, sorry. But this one's just a really, really nice color. It's brown. It's kind of shimmery. Oh, where are we? That one there. Oh, we have to go the opposite way. And I love these. They're quite expensive for an eyeliner. I'm not really keen on spending too much on an eyeliner because they do go really fastly because they're so super creamy. But really good eyeliner if you're doing like a natural brown eye because that's just what I wear all the bloody time. And then I got this on sale. It is one of the L'Oreal Color Infallible Pigments Eyeshadow Things. This one here. And it is an 039 Magnetic Coral. I love these, they're just so pigmented and with a base it just lasts all day and here's one of those little squishy kind of things there, which I love, keep it pressed. Ooh. And this one is a bit, it's not one of the best colour infallibles but I did get it on special and it is a bit chalky sometimes but just as long as you press it down on a base it is really really nice. I don't really wear coral too much, but it is probably one of my favourite things just to wear with a kind of a nude lip and chuck some black liner on and you're good to go. I just use it with my too cool white kind of Maybelline colour tattoo thing. It's not really in any order, sorry. And this brush is by Real Techniques. It's called the Blush Brush. In New Zealand, they're like $40, but they are a decent quality brush. They state that they don't shed it all and they don't at all and it just feels really nice on the face it's a really nice just over a bronze brush i don't use it for blush but it's just a really overall nice bronzer brush and it's so soft i love it i can stop playing with it when i first got it and it's cut so it's all long at the top and all short at the end and it feels really really nice and the bronzer i use it with is my holy grail bronzer and that is the rimmel natural bronzer in 022 sun bronze it is a bit orangey but it doesn't come off on the skin too orangey at all and you can go really harsh with it or not too harsh and it's not really showing up on my skin because I have so much shit on there but cheap it's like $15 best ones I repurchase like all the time and then my mascara if you kind of like long spidery voluminous lashes is the Revlon Fabulous Mascara I don't really know what it is it doesn't really say it's in on the packaging Basic dark black mascara, spidery kind of lashes if you're into that. Well, you miss really, really good mascara I picked up from the warehouse on special, like $15. And it's just like one of my favourite, favourite, favourite mascaras. And then since Elf just came into New Zealand, like 
a month ago or something and I hadn't been because I was really really sick. I picked up the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. I don't really use the concealer side because I've got so many other concealers but I use the highlighter because I don't really have too many cream highlighters and it looks really really white as long as you blend it in it's not too bad and I, ooh, I got a shit one. The highlighter comes off. And they just have the little brushes at the side and the little puddles, of course. Your concealer's gonna go faster than your under eye, than your highlighter, sorry. That's why I just use other concealers. It's not that great of concealer, I'm interested in that really. And just put it on the cheekbones, but your nose, cupid's bow, chin, up there, just to give yourself a highlighted face. Don't wanna to be too matte all the time. And we'll go on to lipsticks. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite nude lipstick. Ooh, where are we? I don't see it, but it's called O25 Skyline Pink. It is just the perfect, 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 perfect nude. It's a bit munted. And I just wear this all the time. It's the only nude lipstick I seem to wear. We want shops up so nude. Need a better camera. It's not a peachy nude, it's a pinky nude. It's just your lips but better. And it's really, really smooth and creamy and easy to apply. And I love it. And then since we're getting into winter here. I do my natural brown eyes and I use the 440 Cherries and Snow. I think it's limited edition, I'm not too sure, but I got it around Christmas time with some clear gloss. And it is basically a dark pinkish red. I love it to bits. They are so super, super creamy, these ones. And it's that one there. Ooh, that shows up quite well. And I love it. And I wore it today, but I don't like wearing red lipsticks because I bleed everywhere. And I lost my red lip liner at school and I hate life. Ooh, who's sex in and then we also have the Argel Brow Sculpting Gel. I'm not really too keen on the thick eyebrows since I already have it already. And sorry, my eyebrows are really, really bad today. And it's just brown. It covers in your eyebrows. Nice brush and everything. There's not really two brow gels in New Zealand anyway. And standard brush. Just comb it through your brows. Keeps it on for ages. Especially if you're wearing eyeshadow. Because pencil stays on longer, but eyeshadow just can kind of go everywhere. And then I have the 25 Lost for Blush Colour Whisperer, natural, basically I've gone through it so much. She's pretty and standard and it's just your lips but better, I don't really want to show it because yeah. And glossy and easy to reapply and everything like that. And then I traded this for like a smoke and it's a Naked 2 palette. It's not the real one, it is fake but just to even own the packaging just makes me so happy. And it's a bit munted, and someone else has really used it, but it's okay because I use the brush. And ah, oh, just look at how perfect it is. I haven't really had too much experience with it yet, but you definitely need primer for this. Someone just got off eBay, but some of the colours are really, really chalky. And the browns you can't really too much, tell too much difference with, even with a primer. But it's not the best of quality, but probably my favourite colours are Suspect, Pistol and Busted. I just love Busted. And I'm really into the brown kind of eyeshadow, as you can't tell by now. It's just what I wear. I don't wear bright colours on the to be honest. And then my last palette, and my final favourite, is the Chi Chi Classics Eyeshadow Collection Palette. I was meant to get the naked one by mistake, like, ages ago. But it's okay. And these are the colours here. So this colour here, it kind of just reminds me of Half Baked, it's really really shiny and I just wear it in my inner tear duct. And then you've got some basic kind of transitions colours. So here's a light one and then dark to go on the outer crease. And also there's a really really nice navy blue which you can wear under the eyes which I love. The black's not the best pigmentation, but I just use another black anyway. And a couple of the glittery ones are a bit chunky. And I still do recommend using a primer, but I just wear a primer with everything anyway. So these are my favourites at the moment. I don't really have much expensive stuff because I'm a teenager and I'm earning $100 a week. Ooh, and I have other necessities. Oh, sorry, I also forgot this. I have two um, nail polishes. I have to paint my nails, otherwise I bite them and they're looking really, really bad at the moment. Look what happened to that shadow. Oh, my nails keep breaking. And this one is a Maybelline Color Show. Uh, stripped nudes in tan lines. This is just looks so gorgeous in the sun when it sparkles. There is nothing better than this, and it's like the perfect nude. And when you know you want to find the perfect nude nail polish, this is it for me. And it doesn't like make my skin look anything really, really weird or anything. And it's just a great color. I love it to bits. 
And you don't even, it lasts on like a week for me with a base coat and a top coat. And I'm just a roof long one. And then finally the roof long nail polish. And this one is in, huh? Where is it? I think it's called like Charming or something. I don't know, it doesn't have it on yet, but it's just like a pastel lilac kind of colour. It's really, really beautiful, and I love Ruffon's packaging. Ah, it looks so upmarket. This is like high-end makeup in New Zealand drugstore, Ruffon. So it's like $20 for a nail polish here, and then probably in America or whatever, you can get this for like 5 bucks and like all these discount codes and shit. But I live in New Zealand, and this is expensive for us, and I love it to bits, and of course I use the top coat and stuff with it. It's just so pretty, and I love it. It makes me not bite my nails, so it makes me look happy. And, ah, and it's just like the perfect, perfect colour. So at the end, that is, those are all my favourites at the moment. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'm sorry about the shitty, shitty webcam. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you pick up some stuff, especially for the New Zealand people watching this. It's really, really good. And yeah, thank you for watching.